Hi there, we are here at Beyond Blessed Coffee in downtown Davis, right on Main Street, and we're talking with Donna and Chris today, the owners of Beyond Blessed, and they've been telling us a little history about their shop. It was really kind of a kind of story on how you ended up here in Davis with a coffee shop. Well, we worked at Falls Creek for several years before we actually moved into Davis. Um, Davis has an annual summer fest. It's the 4th of July festival. We went, while we were at Falls Creek, we went to Summerfest, fell in love with the town, fell in love with the community, and decided we wanted to stay here. We were at Falls Creek for a little while, and uh, Chris had to take a medical disability. Well, right before that, a friend had given us some green coffee beans and told Chris to roast them, and so he did, and he fell in love with the, hob the hobby. And so after he had to take the medical disability, ho uh, roasting coffee just kind of became the thing that took the place of work. Yeah. It's something to pour his attention and his passion into. Um, started selling to friends and family and they loved it and it continued to grow and grow and grow until we were kind of told <laughs> we needed to open a coffee shop. So how has the town responded to the new coffee shop? The town has responded phenomenally. The people are so gracious and so wonderful and so accepting. And I think um, green coffee isn't something people see a lot of. And so to have the roastery here and to have you know someone who can talk about the origins of coffee. I went to barista school, so I learned how to actually brew a cup of coffee and all the science behind it. And when you bring the education into something like that that people aren't very familiar with, it's just this really neat thing. People can come together over it. It gives them something new. When new experience and a new way to enjoy something that they've always known about and so I think people have just really opened their their hearts to that and one thing that we discussed right off the, before we actually opened it was uh, every coffee shop has a tip jar uh, we wanted to do something a little different special with our tip jar so we call it the, the blessings jar and every month we do a different organization or somebody in need so every month we pick a um, different organization or somebody in need just to give back and it's really neat to see people come into our shop and go what's it going to this month they're looking for a place to give yeah. and that is neat to be a part of that community that's incredible yeah it's an incredible story too and that I think we've one thing we've noticed about Davis is everybody is very close-knit yes. mm -hmm. it seems like everybody is, is friends with each other and yeah. look after each other yeah but we're back here at the, the coffee roasting room mm -hmm. and uh, this is your coffee roaster Let's talk about the beans. Where do you get the beans? How does this all work? I get the beans from Kansas City. I used to go up and get them and uh -huh. bring them back. Well, now owning the business, I got to be here all the, every day. So I have them shipped to me. Uh, we get four different origins from Anthem Coffee in uh, Kansas City. Uh, we get a Brazil, uh, Ethiopian, Sumatran, and a Colombian. Uh, we use those uh, for our espresso blend also. So we uh, roast about 30 to 40 pounds a week Wow! Uh, for us and uh, I have a couple wholesale accounts already and just customers out the door buy my coffee. So we're probably up to about 40 pounds a week now or so. Well and then you also offer your traditional coffee, mm -hmm. uh, espressos, lattes, things like that. You also have some really interesting and fun drinks. We do. So uh, we just... Um, if somebody comes in and orders something, uh, we like to play with uh, different uh, drinks. Uh, one of the first weeks we were open, we had some kids uh, after school come in, so they wanted a Red Bull uh, with something different in it. So uh, we put some strawberry syrup in it, come out very red. The town's red and white, that's the school colors. Okay. So we call it the Red Wolf. Uh, we sell 50 or 60 of those a month. Wow. And people was getting tired of those, so we went to an orange now flavoring. And so just whatever you want to do, we'll do. And the iced coffees, which I imagine are incredibly popular in the mm -hmm. summer. You've got, uh, we've tried the cookies and cream yep. and the caramel. Caramel mocha. The caramel mm -hmm. mocha. So how popular are those? Uh, we sell more of those than we do the traditional espresso flavored drinks. Really? Yeah. Wait till uh, winter. And then, yeah. And then we also have the smoothie bar on top of that. We do a strawberry banana and strawberry and pineapple smoothies. So. so, if you had to pick one thing that really sets you apart from other independent coffee shops, what really makes Beyond Blessed, Beyond Blessed? We strive on customer service. There's a lot of coffee shops out there that will just have a certain menu, and if that's, what you not, if that's not what you want, then that's not what you get. Uh, we try to help with customer service, and if you're not happy, we'll throw it away and make, make another one. We're all about making you happier than you came in. Thank you.